On October the 4th, 1995, Hurricane Opal slammed into the Florida Panhandle just east of Pensacola as a Category 3 monster. With winds in excess of 137 miles an hour, the storm caused a surge of 10 to 15 feet, which decimated coastal structures and watercraft eastward beyond Destin. One such vessel, a 1984 Irwin 31 Citation sailboat, was left to fend for herself at a dock in the vicinity of the Fort Walton Beach Yacht Club. Battered for hours, with high winds and mountainous waves, the sailboat beat against a piling on the aft port side, ripping a gash that allowed copious amounts of water to enter. For whatever reason, the water level never rose above the cabin sole, sparing the sailboat from sinking. Other damage occurred to the lifeline stanchions, tow rail, and the hull. Almost immediately, salvage operations for stricken boats began with a designated collection site located on the eastern side of Destin. Overnight, hundreds of power and sailboats began filling the multi-acre site in preparation for an auction. In time, a two-day sealed bid auction was held, attracting bargain hunters from miles around. With encouragement from my dad, I attended the auction. Ultimately, I bid on several sailboats, turning in a sealed offer for each. On the Monday following the auction, a representative of the company called to congratulate me on being the successful bidder for the Irwin 31 Citation. A certified check was issued and arrangements made for the sailboat to be transported to my home in Mobile, Alabama. In late October, the sailboat was moved to my backyard. Work began immediately, first pickling the engine and then expelling stormwater from the inside, along with soaked cushions, dead batteries, and assorted trash. Then I removed deck hardware, the damaged tow rail, and remaining stanchion parts. The restoration plan was to first tackle hull and deck issues that required fiberglassing and finishing work, tasks that required the skills of a professional. One such person was hired and work began immediately. Following instructions provided by the individual who repaired the severe hull and deck issues, I prepared the entire boat for spray painting. I also prepared the mask and boom, hanging them to where all surfaces could be sprayed at once. I chose to use DuPont's Emron, a polyurethane enamel, because of its long-lasting gloss and durability. Beige was selected as the primary color, accented by Royal Navy Blue for the waterline and sheer striping. Multiple coats were applied, yielding a superb finish that lasted for many, many years. My original plan was to launch her in May 1996, but due to unforeseen delays, launching occurred in June. The sailboat was transported to Fletcher's Boatyard in Pascagoula, Mississippi, and launched the same day. The mast was stepped and she was moved to the city marina at Lake Yazoo. I named my new sailboat Lady Jean after my mother. 
Sadly, she had passed away in December 1991, which devastated my dad. Naming the sailboat after her revitalized him, bringing him out of depression. Each day he checked on Lady Jean, always keeping a watchful eye on her. Total cost to purchase, restore, and recommission Lady Jean was $22,000. This included three new sails. Here's a collection of sailing photos covering a span of the nine years that I owned Lady Jean. In 2004, I sold Lady Jean for $22,000 to two individuals. Sadly, they abused the once beautiful and well-maintained sailboat, allowing her to fall back into ruin. They eventually sold her for $600. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up.